I was given an equation, at, oh, I was given a problem where I have to find, uh, well, oh, here's my basic problem. I have a character, let's call him Stick Figure Man, and he is on something, well, let's, and he is on some sort of hill. And, um, well, little Stick Figure Man here, he is... Uh, on a three-dimensional plane, so x, y, z, so that y, x, z, and, well, the idea is trying to find where three-dimensional man is on this plane. Now, I'm given several points for this plane. Now, just for reference, we're going to plot with a couple of these points. Here is my point C. My third point D is actually over here, but um, I don't actually need that point because you know this is just this is just what my little brother gave me. So just to show my um, reference, you know, you have these two points there, and we actually have this plane right here and the thing. But we only really just need the three points to do this properly. And D is not important because it's on the same plane as the other three because. This and this are the same length apart. These are the same length apart. And they're parallel lines just across an axis, which is the same slope. Now, I can pick any one to shift the graph so I make a vector using these points. But pretty much a vector is you take one point and subtract the other point. So okay. okay, so what I was saying is before is you have your two different things. Let's say you got B. Just take your first B term for subtracted by your A term which is negative 4, makes this positive, so that's that number, which is 8. Um, your second term is the next two terms, like your first B factor is negative 4, my second B factor, which is negative, or n your second A factor, which is negative 4, so that's 4 minus 4, which comes to 0. And then you have your third one, which is 4 and 4, so 4 minus 4 equals 0, so your factor is 8, 0, 0, from A to B, and that's your AB factor. AC factor, or AC vector. Okay, and when you get this point right here, um, these are rather large, so we scale them down by turning them into your unit vectors. Usually, to get the unit vector, you just take the entire thing, you square each term and add them together. I want to show you how to use the unit vector. You just have your each term is divided by 12, 2 over 3, 2 over 3, and negative 1 third. That is your unit vector, or A, A, C unit vector. That's the two unit vectors you need. Now from these two, we... Um, you take the cross product of them, and you take uh, these things, you just take that one and that one, 0 times 3, plus 2 thirds times, or minus 2 thirds times 0, which is a 0, so your first term comes out to be 0, so i, 0, minus j times your first, minus your second term, so it's 1 times negative one-third, so that's negative one-third minus uh, two-thirds times zero, which is zero. And you have plus k, and your k is just one times two-thirds, so just two-thirds minus zero times zero, which is a zero. So our new vector that comes out um, this being the x factor is just zero, um, negative, or positive one third. 
and two thirds. So this is our new vector that uh, from this cross product will create a thing that comes from our original graph. It's okay, now in order to find a vector on three space or find a plane on three space, you need this vector, which is known as the normal vector, because it is the orthogonal vector or perpendicular to the other two planes, as I saw before inside the graph where you had the one going that way, or one going along the x, one going down into the well, pit, and you have one going out this way, which is just from your xy plane, where x and y is that way, there's no x component. So, this vector here is important because it shows what face you're going. Let, let's say, um, on my hand right here, um, my hand is a plane that can be facing any direction, uh, sideways, long ways, whatever. Um, the vector comes straight out from it, and, well, because it comes straight out from it, you know which way the plane is facing, but no, we also need a point, which we'll just take one of these points, like let's use point C, why not? It doesn't matter which point we use. So I'm using point C, um, let's see. Take point C as one of our main points, and we'll use this vector here to identify our x, y, and z components, where we have and that'll equal zero. So I'm rewriting this so it's not as sloppy. Let me do the rest of the math. Uh, zero, multiplying all of this out, x becomes nothing. Y here, you have... Actually, just because we can, I'm going to take this entire thing, I'm going to multiply it by three, just to get rid of this one-third right here. Zero times three is zero, one-third times three is one, and two-thirds times three is just two. So, our thing comes out to... Okay, then we take this four, we throw in the other thing, so we get our equation y equaling or i plus two z equals four. And this is our main equation for our plane. And now this is important because now that we have our equation for our plane, we can find out what we want for the rest of this, so um, now, the main question at the very beginning was, if we have the person on a plane, you, this equation right here shows that this plane is x is zero. Even though we see x, it exists here, but um, well, let's say x is one, if x is one, one is here, okay. Well, there, here's the main point of it, where we're trying to find what z is. Now we want to plug in, now to find anything inside here, if we know what x is, it's, let's say it's um, negative 3, and say y equals negative 3, then plug it inside here, we have our equation, negative 3 plus 2z equals 4, equals 7, 7 over 2. That's our point inside the 3 space here, with negative 3. With positive 3, because there is no x, it doesn't matter. And the x doesn't matter for the simple reason because this line here, or this plane, is parallel to the x-axis. If it wasn't parallel, then you'd have an x-factor and you'd find your point that way. So, um, your man, let's say, is going on a room. You, know, you have your x and y, so x, y, and your man. You can go anywhere you want, you know, that way, that way, and that way, whatever. But on the XYZ plane, because this is parallel, um, he can go X to infinity, or infinity to infinity. And um, X does not change Z at all. That's why it's unimportant. But why? Because it is in relation to X and Z, where this is nothing more than a 
y equaling uh, negative 2z plus 4. That could be oh, another way to write the equation. Um, let me write that better. Negative 2z plus 4. Then you could just well, take it as it is. And that's how you find uh, height in relation to the graph when the plane is slanted. Now there are other ways to go about this where let's say well, there are other things that I have not yet learned but the idea is simple enough. You just find your plane find your plane equation and after you find your plane equation you just plug in your x and y constants and whatever your character is at. That's how high he is from his x and y points on the plane. Because you're just solving for z at that point, which is easy. Because you know where he is in x and y. Bye.